But because we are well, then we begin to practice it. We know. When I walk on the street, I know I'm anointed. So I'm not lost in the crowd. So if I'm driving, I tell myself, this is an anointed woman driving. When I'm walking, this is an anointed I'm conscious of it. When I go into an office, I am an anointed woman. These people have no idea of who just walked into their office. Mm. I am aware of it. So because of that, it keeps manifesting. You can't manifest something you are not aware of. Mm. God wants you to be conscious. Mm. So anyone who has been taught to learn, whether you feel it or you don't feel it, he has marked you for different. So mm. when you walk to a store, you're different. You're not all those people that you see. There is something about you can give life. You can heal. You can deliver. Jesus lives in you. Let's be conscious because the reason for the shorting prayers is that he wants to release a lot of people to the world. He wants to pour his glory upon us and release us to the world. So that's the purpose of it. And we must begin to manifest in it. We come back every sorting to to get more, to be refilled. Yes. Amen. So that we manifest more and more and more and more to the perfect day. Hallelujah. Yes, and, and Pastor, Amen. Uh, Pastor Judith, uh, it's, uh, it's Julian again. Uh, uh, also, when you spoke about that prayer of uh, evangelizing and, and, and receiving, you know, to, to, to move on. And, um, I, I, I felt you said so, that we were going to feel like something came on to us and I did. And, um, uh, I'm a missionary. So that was, uh, <laughs> I, I needed that and I got it because, uh, I, I'm always like uh, on the streets and evangelizing here in Brazil. And, um, so yeah. And, and, and yeah, I just want to say that too. I got it. As, as you share that, as you were sharing that, I just made a hit of, you know, like you're sharing Hallelujah. coming back to me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, Glory to the Lord. Lord. Yeah, he's moving. I praise, I praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I just want to add, so, Judith, when you were talking, releasing stuff to us, I felt the Holy Spirit um, put a cross on my forehead. Here you go. Amen. Amen. I, amen. I was just saying it because he told me, like, as you are blowing, I will blow something like you, I will blow, I will blow my hair. Like somebody, I don't know if I'm speaking, if I'm saying it right. Like when somebody blow air to you, mm -hmm. like release air to you. Yes, I was feeling that the Holy Spirit wants to release air on somebody's forehead. So I'm waiting for the person who will share that testimony. That's a good one. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Some other person was about to talk. Yeah, mm. that is me. Mm. That is Belinda. Okay. I was really expecting to receive the touch of God. I was thinking it's going to be on my head, on my, I, on my, uh, I don't know. But mm. What I experienced this night, I have never experienced something like that before. Because when I was praying, I stood up that very particular prayer, prayer time of expecting, raising up my hands, closing my eyes, thinking that maybe I will receive something on my hand. On my, but where I received touch was my two legs. My two legs was like shaking. I don't really know the meaning. Oh. I couldn't even stand. I have to, I have to lie on the rug of my city room. I was mm. just rolling on the floor. I, I, I took me time. I was almost shouting, but I, I tried to behave myself because I'm. <laughs> 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 but I've never seen something like that before. <laughs> my two legs, my two legs like this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus.